second word. Every time we get on, Josh Pence is on with like a hundred and some watchers. <laughs> that's okay. We'll take over. We'll take the scraps. I guess I said that right on the. <laughs> the shit. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Good Wednesday evening, everybody. Welcome to another. Oh, this is what episode three. Tag team episode three, I believe. Yeah, hot tag three, that's right. And we're gonna be uh, hanging out, talking about toys and some TV shows, showing off some stuff, some pickups. It's hump so day, how's Ted. everybody doing? Happy What's up, day. Trigger? Happy hump day, sir. Sirs. <laughs> What's up, Julian? Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. And Mr. Trigger. I remember Mr. Trigger. I got I gotta put my old hat on so I can see. <laughs> I can read. My new glasses are in, they but I, I didn't I was too tired to go pick them up today, so <laughs> you got new glasses for real? Yeah, we went the other day and got our it was already expired. We had to go and get new our eyes checked up again. I got different ones this time. I think they they look all right. <laughs> Mr. God Tank, how are you today, sir? What's up, Vatos? We're just here chilling. You know, talk about some toys, show off some toys, shoot the breeze. Oh yeah, brother, I'll I'll uh, I'll subscribe to you. And check out your content. Not a problem, sir. What's up, Mr. Uber? Mr. Uber Hulk? Y'all see his uh, Uber Hulk's recent video? He got to go meet uh, Narc. Well, he knows Narc. He's friends with him. But he went and hung yeah. out with him. Yeah, Craig is a big fan of Uber Hulk. <laughs> El Chambo. Hey. The face of Dios hey, in the house. Speech fairies. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Speech Fairies has got another channel, and she's been picking up thrift stuff. She gets, she handed some street sharks. She gets some good stuff. Nice. Oh, nice. Love oh, yeah, that, sharks. that new Eric Kill, Killmonger with the tactical gear, that's a nice legend. Uh, uh, I have Uber video. Hawk, <laughs> Uber Hawk saying he doesn't have video. Does everybody else have video or audio and video or both or one or the other? I mean, it doesn't matter if you can't see my ugly face. Got to make sure you can see Kevin's beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take Boy. me like a month to grow this back. <laughs> Cover up all the chins. Judson, that beard signifies your wealth of knowledge that you are. <laughs> <laughs> Dondi is in the house. Hey, Dondi, you going to hang out with us? Dondi, jump on. Being Pat tonight, he can't be on stream. I think it's his anniversary again. Again? <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm just teasing. <laughs> hey. That man's smart. Yeah, he is. He knows to take care he, of mama he, first. Keep he, he mama happy, just like Kev always said. Darn straight. Happy wife, happy life. Judson, you can attest. Thank you. So why don't you uh, introduce yourself to Kev's audience to talk about uh, team found toy savages and then uh, just about your love of collecting and just give everybody a heads up who you are and why you're on the stream. Sure. I'm sure everybody's uh, see me in the comments on uh, yeah. several channels. In I chat support. form. In, You've been materialized form. in the physical in world. Form. I uh, I definitely try to support as many YouTubers as I can. That's for damn uh, sure. Love love toys. Love collecting toys. Uh, I collected hardcore in the late '80s, early okay. '90s, and then life happened, and I had to sell it off. Right. And last year, I was finally able. You know, I was just uh, start back back up. Huh? Started, got, yeah, got back into it. A little bit uh, of time. Yeah. Felt, the next felt, thing felt, you know, a mass is... Right, right. Fell fell into the legends really hard. How many times has that happened to you, Kevin, with your, your collection? Three or four times. 
Total yeah. hits. You know how that is. That's what I just texted in the chat. I think we all, we all have kind of a similar story. Like you we know, all know that life happens and you can start fresh, and that's a great thing. That's awesome. right. You can always start over. That's right. Although I've I've vowed to never do it again. And here you are, <laughs> part of the tag team. Well, we, yeah. Well, that's blessed to have Judson in the group, and this is if you're a tuber. This is the kind of guy you want in your comment section. This is the kind of viewer, right. the feedback you give, the likes, the support, the love. So you guys want to earn Judson's favor. Let me just tell you, as someone, he we him enough group, so we had to make him a member. We're still trying to get him to, to film. I'm sure that's coming eventually. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not. I'm gonna work on it, Kevin. I. I, I appreciate, excuse me. I appreciate your kind words, Harry. That, that that's your first upload. It's yeah. happening, May. It's <laughs> happening, May the well, 4th, May the fourth on Star Wars Day. Your first upload's going up. I've already seen it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> you already promised when you hit a hundred subs. <laughs> see, we're working on that goal. Yeah, the, but, but the see, good the, way to find secret, for him to find your content is sub to him. The the secret thing is though is is that I'll never make it to a hundred. <laughs> Don't doubt the power of Venom Fang and you putting a giveaway attached to a hundred. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of subs as Venom Fang or Harry wins it. <laughs> <Harry>. <laughs> Never one squat all year. I've been holding back. Everybody, everybody calls fixed. It's fixed. I knew I should have subbed to this channel with no content. <laughs> you got some toys to show us, Kev? Uh, I got some some old stuff. Yeah, man. Your most <clears throat> recent uh, auction haul, right? Yeah, this is an auction haul. It's kind of... Uh, a grill of mine I've been wanting for two years and I hadn't picked any of these up just because I'm picking up other stuff but I got a, a whole lot of early 90s Stargate vehicles monsters and figures for 38 bucks now leave that little car on the screen the similarity between that vehicle and what you saw <laughs> in Goodwill just a few days ago that's right you remember that dune buggy you saw in the Goodwill and then there was a guy on the turret yeah, there were two dudes strapped into the seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, what do you compare the quality of what you're holding now versus that? Pretty much similar, just different plastic color, but yeah, the same. same. Uh, Does this feel uh, like a better made toy, the older stuff, because things are cheaper now? Yeah, and, and also a little story about this one. This one is a Stargate vehicle, but this one was also the exact same mold was made for a G.I. Joe vehicle. Uh, wow. The A.E. something. I don't know, but everybody mistook this for the G.I. Joe, but it's because it is. They just changed. This figure here is a 4.5, mm -hmm. and the G.I. Joes, of course, are 3.75. So all yeah, they did was that, change the seat. That would this guy. two Joes, though, but it's, it's one of Stargate, man. Right. It's just one seater for Stargate, but when they when they use this mold for G.I. Joe, they put a little two-seater in two it for the smaller. Yeah. Hasbro made what's up, Dave? Hasbro made the Stargate toys. I uh, let's see. Was it Galoob or Tycho or Hasbro? Hasbro. Yeah, they all they're all Hasbro. But yeah, this guy right here, of course, is Daniel, which is the the smart guy yeah. of the first movie. David Spade's character. David Spade, right? Yeah. You know how young he looks in that movie now? I know, and then you see him on, a, what is it, the blacklist? You can see how, how much he's aged. Yeah, and his <laughs> neck is, he's got like the George Lucas neck. It's like Jabba the Hutt, like it. <laughs> older, it's expanded this way. That's right. <laughs> and it must be Hart Hutt. He must. <laughs> That actually looks like uh, the actor. 
yeah, this looks like Kurt Russell. They did a pretty, and there was no, you know, they did this pretty well for not having the technology then. Yeah, no face can back in the day. It was all molds and hand sculpted. Yeah, definitely. But what I really love about these you guys, the Stargate movie. movie? I, I love it, but I'm I'm a big fan of sci-fi in general. And the show and stuff, but y'all remember like how Kurt Russell was just a man in that era. I mean Yeah, he was. Well, like me and yeah. you were talking about, he did uh the Escape from New York and LA and I right. there's a movie that's called Soldier. Have you seen that one, Judson? Oh, uh, Soldier was great. Yeah, was awesome. He was raised into he was raised since the kid, since yeah. he was a kid to be a soldier and he was awesome. I remember that Iron Man movie he made where he was like the chief. Yeah, yeah. This is a big old spaceship, and then these come out in the yeah. movie also. That I is a cool piece. Yeah, that's nice. You can send that one to me, Kev. <laughs> it is. It is cool. And of You're course, the Egyptians now. This is the, oh, okay. that big monster that they use as a workhorse with a sleigh, and it's got a really cool. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, cat catapult, catapult in the back. Will the um, the little things from Lantern Tour scale with that? <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. You Let's can see. kind of bring Stargate toys in with your Lantern stuff. Definitely, and if I pick up the Rampage, they all match. Yeah, this Rampage. is it right here. Here's the difference. You can see the the Egyptians are an, almost an inch taller. Well, they were huge characters in the movie, though, if you think about it that way. Especially when they had their suits their on. Their mask days. on, yeah. That was the part of the movie that as like, man, I'm this scary. I love that movie, though. I still, to this day, Stargate still holds up, special effect why. I agree. And I just, I watched the, what I said, uh, I watched the movie earlier after I watched our TV show, I watched the movie, and then I started watching the season. Yeah. <laughs> You're all in. Yeah, all in it. But the bad thing about the season was, the, the, of course, the outfits was cheesier. They were not as good looking. The <laughs> Egyptian style outfits, they weren't good. And also, uh, it was funny that they kept them the same characters from the movie, but had all new actors, and I hate when that happens. But when it, when it went a, from movie to TV, they changed all the actors around. I'm a big fan of the director. Roland Emmerich is the same guy that did ID4. He did the 2012 movie. He did The Day After Tomorrow. Like, <clears throat> all he did was epic scale movies. That was his specialty. For sure, yeah. I guess he did White House, the White House Down movies, uh, he did The Patriot. The, last the ones that. It was they, a sequel to Independence Day. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, they're doing a new Stargate. It's in pre-production. They're doing a new Stargate movie. Oh. And also, they're working on the new, uh, the, the third installment of that uh, Independence Day, too. Oh, really? Yeah, they're going to release the, the Stargate, then that one, is supposedly. It's what they're saying they're planning on doing. I was reading up on it today. <clears throat> So that means the values of the stuff you got in that option is going to go up. Yeah. Because the, the brand is coming back. For Make sure. You know, old attached to that more valuable. So you got it at the right price at the right time. Yeah. And uh, David also, David has a ton of the ID for the original mm -hmm. uh, vintage toy line. He has, I think, the majority of that line, if not all of it. So that's going to be pretty cool to... I remember those figures vaguely. I think I had one or two. Like I know I had uh, Jeff Goldblum's character, and I had one of the aliens. So that was about it. I can't remember who made those. I don't either, but uh, they were nice. I like the aliens too. They had a lot of detail. Yeah, they look great. It's like Harlan detail for that era. We got uh, Caesar from OBM in the house. What's up, Don? And Brad Campbell. How are y'all doing today, gentlemen? Brad Campbell in the house. Awesome. Just chilling. Justin, why don't you fill us in about your trip to GameStop today? Oh, my, my unsuccessful trip to... Hey, not all, not all together unsuccessful. 
to drill up the turtles. I was no, you know, it was a, it was a, actually a pretty good, pretty good time out today. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, ended up uh, finding myself a little something. Not not uh, anything that I've been collecting in the last year. And you go down months. a new wormhole. Yeah, could be, could be, <laughs> could be. Uh, I mean, I guess I could show you. You have a box, don't you? I guess I could show you what's what's in the box. What's in that box? Kevin, guess. I want you to guess, bro. What line is he? Yeah, what you, what, what <coughs> it's not doing? Marvel Legend. Not Marvel Legends. My guess is going to be it's Primal Star. Age. <laughs> no, it's no, not Primal not. Age. No, and it's not a Black Series. Nope, nope, not Black Series. Something you've never collected before. Something, something that I, I don't, that I don't have. SH figures. Nothing, nothing. You've so gone much. down the SH rabbit hole. Huh? You've gone down the SH figure arts rabbit hole. Oh, I've already, I already have figure arts. Okay. Well, have I'm, arts. I don't it's know not, if Kevin is. It's in, it's in the, it's in the twenty dollar price range. Okay. It's, huh. it's uh. From the eighties, it's not a Funko. We we grew up we grew up watching it. Okay, I'm out of a. We got kid masters. Of uh, Power uh, Rangers. There you go, Harry. Harry got. Oh, it. the uh, Super Seven stuff. No. No. Oh, uh, here. Yeah, let's end the suspense here. Feels good. Yeah, Mattel. Oh, nice! Right there. Nice. Oh, the classic. Yeah, that's the ones that Dark buys, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. But yeah, I want to try and get. Uh, I get and He Man, right? I want to get all the bad guys. Bad guys. Those when, I, when I was a kid, that was I was all about Skeletor. And, and you found guys. that in GameStop today. Yeah. Let us see it again. Hold it up to the camera. I didn't get a good look. Yeah, good. good. Those are nice. Should I take it out of the box? If you feel like it, yeah. Well, what scale is that? Five inch? I don't keep. You know, I don't know. Let's find out. I would. I would assume so. But I don't keep I don't keep anything on card. Me either. I, I'm not like that. I, I like to enjoy my toys. Yeah, but trying to play with. You don't collect for value. Right, exactly. I collect for fun. For your enjoyment. Right, but I'll tell you what though, this is really nice packaging though for for the on card collectors. I heard they're uh, at a good price point as well. Well, blister packs, you know, that you can only <coughs> nice. Yeah, this was uh this was uh what 19 or something like that. Nineteen yeah. Yeah, here. Nin nineteen bucks basically at GameStop. So which means it's probably cheaper anywhere else. We all know how GameStop is. I just wish they would bring their legends and black series to nineteen as well. That twenty two ninety nine is like a finger, you know what I'm saying? Middle finger to me. Yeah. <coughs> it's got a it's got an alternate head. Okay. Is there a good light on it? I gotta get better light in here. We can see it. That's cool. And the head that's on the figure is just larger than that one. Yeah, hang on, I'm trying to uh you got a got little the, twisty tie. It's got, it's got it's got the evil rubber bands. Let me find something to cut it with. Ask Kevin how fun it is to open up a, you know, Judson as a uh, M Marvel Select collector. Getting a oh, God. Tree is Select God. Is nuts. I, I hate those, th the twisties they use on those things. They hurt God, you. man. You think you got that thing free, and then there's nine more of those things. On the yeah. And they wrap the smallest stuff, man. It could be like a little knife. Oh, I know. <laughs> They'll put four wraps on it. <laughs> It's legit. Like when you were getting your uh, cool arrow, <laughs> cool arrow. <laughs> My so archer man. 
<laughs> All the snake heads, unlike uh, Whoa. unlike our famous Marvel Legends, got yeah. wires so you can bend it's them whatever you wire want. so you can position it. Post- yeah. cool. What about the tongue? Is it posable? No, nah, it's just hanging out of the mouth. It's one with that's still cool though. It's still cool though. I mean, you got very cool. Kind of pretty much the same as the 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 old school mm-hmm. man figures, except it's got a knee joint. Mm-hmm. You know, got a little bit of movement in the leg. Yeah, nothing, nothing major, but I mean, I I kind of dig it because it reminds me of the the old school ones that I had back in the day. It's just a. So this modern, particular line is yeah. the one you're gonna focus on then, not the super seven one. Yeah, I, I kind of dig these, and I, I've seen the super seven ones, and I think those look great too. Mm-hmm. And I'd love to pick up their um their what do they call them the the vintage line or the classic line that are like literally like the remakes of the ones from back in the day. Mm-hmm. I'd like to pick up some of those, <laughs> but I kind of I really I like the detail in these. Comes with uh oh well, look at that. It's got a little spear. Yeah. That's nice uh coloring on that. Yeah. And uh we're so used to Marvel Legends using that one coat in plastic. And yeah. yeah. Solid. Little sword. Here, I'll use my phone to get some light on it. I need I'm stuck in the bedroom today. And, and the light okay, sucks in here. And then the last thing he's got. Oh wait, geez, this thing's packed. Whoa. He's got a mace. Let me see my aunt, even in, there. We go. weapon. That's what I'm talking about. A little mace. Oh. And then a shield. That is cool. Dang. So his hands will hold that. This, this around like, like the snake. This looks like it'll clip on like one of the snakes, like kind of. Like, I uh, think I see. So like kind of like that. That was smart. That helped. <laughs> that was smart. But yeah, I mean, or or like on the back of his neck or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even think you can hold these things. Like the weapon. Oh no, wait, maybe he can in, in the snake's mouth over here. Let me see if I can mess with it here. All right. Snakes are a real, like a real pliable rubber. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think you'd have to get some some uh, sticky tack or something to get it to actually hold it, hold it. Mm. I just maybe the more I mess with it, I'll figure it out. Do they show him holding it in any of them on the packaging on the back? Oh, you found it. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's the secret. Yeah, no. See, if you look at if you look at him on the back of the package, just no weapon. Out. Yeah, and nothing. So who knows? Maybe it's like those. Uh, what, what's that line? Um, of the medieval characters, mm-hmm. where they all have like armor and stuff that you can switch between the different figures. What line? Oh, is it? Uh, Mythic Legions. That's it, Mythic Legions. Maybe it's kind of like that, and me, but although I mean, it's got all the all the snake elements on it and everything. That's cool, bro. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, yeah those are awesome. Did they have more to choose from there? That's just the or only one you found. They had they had one other. Bad guy that I didn't know who he was. <clears throat> yeah, there, there's a lot of them that didn't come out in the cartoons. And right, right. They sort of just mass produced a bunch of really weird, off the wall characters. Yeah. I'm trying to. And see sometimes they. The, oh, this alternate head works. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like the uh, snake wants to come off the top of it. I don't want to break it. <laughs> You're done, Bill. You're done. Nice. I was gonna pull him out too, but I forgot. I, I was gonna pull mine out, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Why hasn't Hasbro given us a Billy Russo Marvel Legend? Oh, yes, Jigsaw. We need more Netflix likeness characters. That Good night, be, Donnie. That would be the perfect figure that we need that so we're going to be talking punisher season three very shortly but we're going to keep talking toys in the meantime but all three of us in the last week have watched season three of punisher and um 
you know, I know Hector's watched it. I don't know if he's watched all of it. So if you're not caught up on that show, we will warn you before we start going into how it plays out. So. Toys, Kevin. Toys. I got yeah, a few other things I've picked up. Yeah, let's see, let's see some toys. This is uh, kind of for you guys that like to do your displays <clears throat> and dios and stuff. I found these pretty cheap too, and I I got six of them. They're these dogs, and they're all perfect uh, size for the six inch scale. Wow. And they all have quite a bit of detail on them. They're heavy. They're pretty quality. And uh, I found like horses, all kinds of cool stuff. But here you can see this. General Leia. Yeah, General Leia. The, the reason I use this one is because I was filming yesterday. And this is, I looked in my car for a six inch figure. This is the first one I came across. So I just opened her. I got her for like two bucks at Ross, I think. Or, Can't beat that. Yeah. I need her for $2. Yeah. I need to go back to Ross because I think uh, Rennie needed uh, the Obi Wan there. He's like three bucks, also two ninety nine. Yeah. But you can see the six inch. He's a good size for a six inch figure. Yeah, they look perfect for the scale. And I, I got six of them, so there's, and they all came with uh, they came with little accessories like when you to train the dogs. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty cool. I got these at a tractor supply of all places. And there's a bunch. There's all colors. and <coughs> Tractor supply? Yeah. Yeah, oh, they wow. have uh, realistic animals there. Yeah, and they're quality. If you watch uh, the video I'm going to release tomorrow, they have some dinosaurs there that actually have uh, jaws articulated. Really? Jaws, the jaws are articulated. Cool. They're like 25 yeah. bucks, but they're like heavy and super quality. Big old dice. They're like, uh, like tourist uh, kind of deal grade toys, right? Yeah. Tourist attraction. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I thought these guys were pretty cool for five bucks. It's going to look beautiful in the diner. Sure will. No dogs allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I don't. I forgot I probably didn't show this one when we started. Yeah, I, yeah I, give us a lowdown on those things. These are the, what are they called? Primal. Uh, primal. Primal Rage or Primal? Primal Watch of Macaulay's. The new Lantern Toys. Yeah. Now they have four of the medium size uh, creatures with, with Soldier, and they have and two of these big guys. Like, what, a saber tooth? I've seen the saber tooth. <laughs> Ricky Dunn's channel. The saber tooth, yeah, that one's my favorite one. Yeah, that's a smaller up. one. Or and then they have one that looks like a, a velociraptor. Mm -hmm. One looks like some kind of ostrich or something. It's got like feather. Yeah, All and the then the, one other one looks like a lizard or something. Okay, yeah. But these are the big ones. They come with the triceratops, and this one's the mammoth. And I swear to you, like this thing is heavy. It has a lot of weight to it. The only articulation, of course, the head just goes up and down. Yeah. Is the, the mouth mask. open? No, unfortunately no not. Okay. Yeah. The tusk on that thing is pretty awesome. Yeah, they're huge. They look nice. The mask comes off. It's really cool looking. <clears throat> Anybody that's collected uh, Skull Island toys or Rampage, things will scale not right perfectly. It's the same. Uh, same figures, everything. Uh, I forget what they called their G.I. Joe knockoff line, Judson. You remember? It is it, it's is it elite extreme soldiers something? Something the like core that? I think I think it's the core elite core elite force extreme the core, core. Extreme. elite core elite core yeah, I it's think something is core elite yeah core. these are exactly like those they kind of went cheap on the figures because the very there's not a lot of paint on them <clears throat> super cheap like if you look the little right. it's cool that the gun goes in a holster but look at it it's just that it's is like, cool. Wow. The gun itself is super cheap. <laughs> you remember as kids, like you get a Joe and he have a pistol in the holster, but it was in there. It was molded. <laughs> it wasn't coming out. Yeah, you know, it wasn't. <laughs> you um, had to have imagination. It's a, it's Elite Core. Brad Campbell just said it. Elite Core. That Lantern's military line. When uh, 
this past couple months when Walmart was really kicking out all those uh, clearances, they had all those elite chlor for a dollar at every Walmart I had over here. They're all a dollar. Have you seen people have been finding the Big George from a yeah from the movie last year for like five bucks? I could have got them too, and I passed. Big them. White George or whatever from that movie Rampage. Yeah, Big George. I have Lizzie, but it's at my parents' house. I think Lizzie was a pretty decent toy. It it, it scaled well with Marvel Legends. I did some cool uh, figure photography with Lizzie and Man Thing in like a swamp setting. Yeah, Lizzie was cool. That was one of my favorites in the movie. Yeah, she was a nice. That was a pretty decent toy. It was a twenty dollar price point new, and these big lanterns are fifteen, so they're going. Oh, where there's no uh, theater tie-in to this brand. That's right, yeah. Movie tie-in, the license of the movie is what ups the toy. This yeah. is their own original thing, which is good because today's kids, the ones that do want action figures, have so little to choose from. Yeah. That's right. Very true. That's about all I have new. I was too busy to really... Boy Bears around the corner. You got any uh, wish lists that you would love to see announced from any particular maker or lines or? Uh, I guess for me, I'd like to see like the new stuff from like NECA McFarlane. Mm -hmm. I know that X Men's coming. I'm pretty excited about the new X Men. NECA's supposed to be making a really big announcement regarding Ninja Turtles. That would be cool. Maybe they'll do the. They'll keep going with the. The NECA will keep going with the. A bunch more soldiers, or I mean, uh, characters. They showed, uh, I think last year they showed, uh, they didn't have the license yet, but they had of those guys that are in outer space where the neutrinos were. Mm -hmm. Those big rock dudes that were in space and they had like military helmets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick had done those things like on a section scale, really detailed, and they looked amazing. But they had a little sign on the display. <laughs> Saying this is not a licensed product. It's just a concept. That's cool. Because Playmate still has the master license for Ninja Turtles. They have to pay Playmates in order to make anything Turtles. I would also like to see what's gonna what's the future hold for, for DC. Yeah. Well, Maybe. you have one, one, the rest of this year is still Mattel's show. Yeah. Well, still has the rights throughout this calendar year. Um, what, I mean, there's no movie this year, is there? The new Wonder Woman? Uh, Shazam's about to come out. Okay, so they'll probably do a, way, a multiverse wave for that. Yeah. And uh, Suicide Squad's coming. The sequel to that, right? The sequel's coming. And I then Birds of Prey. Batman. Yeah, Birds of Prey. Birds yeah. of Tater. Birds of Tater. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of Tater. <laughs> what about you, Justin? You got a, a Toy Fair wish list? Everything. Everything? Just show me it all. I, I, I love following Kevin's guidebook to collecting. Just jump down all the holes. Exactly, exactly. I, I love this time of year, and I love con time of year because that's when all you guys are out there showing me all those beautiful toys. You want to? Oh, I can't get enough. Is there any Toy Fair uh, talk in the chat? Uh, let's see. Brad mentioned that there's rumors about NECA re-releasing the Cartoon Turtles. Oh, that would be, I'd love that. That would be cool. That'd Likeness be to the cartoon? I would hope it's the original. I, I could never really get into the new guys. I hate the new ones. Now, you know, the, the news I want to share is with the with losing D and the rumors are Mattel's going to want to hit Thundercats hard. Bring oh. it. When they lose DC, they, they can put full attention on re <coughs> Thundercats. Now you're I talking the language. Yeah. And now they could release it like a line meant for kids 
and then the masterpiece grade stuff for adult collectors and get and get it on both like just make that a brand that's household name again oh uh, you're you're talking to me now you're talking to my soul so uh, look forward to that Everybody sees what my little icon is on YouTube when I make my comments. <laughs> He's like, "Ho!" Are you ready for like the masterpiece grade, Lionel and Mantra and Panto? Oh man! Like with ridiculous articulation and detail, and probably like a maybe a forty dollar price point. I don't even care if they make them like the old school ones. They'll probably release a simplistic one. They they I, the rumors are there will be a general line that is going to be geared to ten and under, and re redo the brand. But then they're going to make ones in the likeness of the original, but on a masterpiece scale for adults. Similar to what Super Seven's doing. With He Man, right? So 25, but when they get on the secondary market, the values triple. As long as they, when uh, the 2011s were coming out, I just could not stand Thundercats in the 3.75 size. I just I wasn't into Too that. Little, right? They shouldn't do that this time around. I need them. I, yeah, they need to at least be five inch. The one, the general line that's geared to children. They have to be no smaller than five inch if they want a chance. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Over what seven inch? Yeah, the collector ones will be seven inch scale. Yeah, they're beefy toys, and the sculpts are going to be all original. Like these are they're they're looking to pour some serious dollars into this line. Yeah. They need. With the with the loss of the DC revenue, yeah, because their their number one product is still Barbie globally, yeah. which is exactly why they should come out with with uh, twelve inch GI Joe again, again, again. <laughs> I mean that's Hasbro. Now Hasbro, the rumors of them announcing new mask, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Another thing with Mattel is the six inch Jurassic World line. They're yeah, a lot of collectors don't like that. They're selling well. They sell a lot of their four inch dinosaur line stuff. That's doing well. That's producing money. The six inch scale, Owen, it would be select characters from the first and only dinosaurs that are on the scale of a raptor, nothing larger. Yeah. Because for obvious reasons. <clears throat> yeah, I saw a lot of uh, Jurassic Park stuff at Walmart today. Yeah, the, the new, uh, the ones that Dave's been talking about, the Versus series. The Versus series. They rebanded anything that was Fallen Kingdom and re released it as yeah. that. Yeah. Now they're rivals. Yeah, rivals. The Versus series, they had those damage ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way they do battle damage on them is cool now. It's involved a lot. It's come a long way. From what it used to be in the 90s, it was just that piece that would pop out. <laughs> you remember? It was just a little door you picked off, a little panel. Yeah. I would stick my little hunks on like a shield and then put it on like a little table. It'd be like dinner for my figures. <laughs> <laughs> rip by. <laughs> the one, one There's I wanted. There's rumors that. No, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say I wanted that uh, RC uh, gyroscope. Oh. Oh, he has it, right? Or he has. No. I don't think no. he does. No, he has. I think it's he has. weird. <laughs> It's very, very weird he doesn't have that because <laughs> Dave only gets all the answers. <laughs> There's rumors they're going to show a four-inch scale brontosaurus at Toy Fair. Or is it, uh, yeah, it's a brachiosaurus, sorry. Brachiosaurus. 
Legend Star. That would be cool to see. I bet David will be all over it. Is is going to be maybe 120 bucks. Big life in the house. What's up, guys? How are y'all doing? Oh, big life's here. What's up? Venom Fang. Yeah. I mean, not Rainy. Venom Fang. <laughs> is he ready for an invite? I'm not supposed to tell. give his uh, Clark Kent name away. No, it's Venom. Venom or Fang? Right. Or just Mr. Fang. Fang. All he has to do to hide his identity is wear glasses like us. <laughs> I'm undercover. Get him some readers. No longer undercover. Nothing, man. Where you been, bro? <clears throat> Osgood. I feel like if you were a superhero, Jetson, you'd be like a Norse mythology style. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, when I was in high school, I had a character drawn of me, and it, it really looked like that. Was I it? had that that's I had that really sweet late eighties, early nineties mullet going on. Uh -huh. Yeah. It just says I wield hammers <laughs> on the side, like <laughs> I dropped like the I hammer. Be, like I should be sprayed on the side of a seventies van. Nice. <laughs> the epicness of the mullet. Harvest. <laughs> right. Yeah, it actually took me a long time to admit that I had a mullet back then. Is there any other Toy Fair chatter going on? I don't have YouTube pulled up. Just <clears throat> oh, here, I'm sorry. I'll look. Maybe they'll have some uh, Disney stuff. We can see some. What's Disney doing coming up? Taking over the world. That, no. um, Hasbro wants to do an upper scale. Like a 12 inch line for Black Series, but they're not like Hot Toys money. But they're like the same detail as a 6 inch Black Series, but 12 inches. And they would retail for like 80 ish dollars. Does that interest anybody? It does interest me. I'm committed to the 6 inch. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a 12 inch. I have the room. The room or the finances to go down a 12 inch hole. Come early. Come early. Most definitely. <laughs> Venom said so I, 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 I'm wearing a Tennessee top hat tonight. What's uh, Venom talking about over there? He's got any Toy Fair insight he can share? He's still at work. He's on lunch no. or something. Uh, tell him we congratulate him on surpassing 600 subs. It's a big deal. It's awesome. Him yeah, and uh, Hot Cheetos did. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Dave, Dave did that about a month ago, so all three of those guys are 600 plus. Yeah. And Tim's now in the 500. It's a lot and, of work. Um, Hector, Hector's already in towards food subs now. Slowly climbing that ladder. The content speaks for itself. If you create it, right, Kev? If you you know better than anybody what the grind and you put in the work. Yeah. Consistency, right? You just yep. You just gotta stay active and keep pushing forward. And you, whatever you put into it's what you're gonna get. You know, you hustle. You think we should talk about this guy's show? I'm down. Six hundred subs. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna talk about that really super boring show, The Punisher. <laughs> Anybody in the chat? <laughs> we're gonna start talking spoilers, guys. The season nope. three for sure. The, the no action, no I fight. Thought it was, uh, I found it highly better than season one. Oh, I did too. I don't want to knock season one because it was good. But I they took they, leaps and bounds better. It wasn't even close. They took season one 
and Where? just ran with it. Oh, this which is, is why I'm so sad that Disney's taken everything. Well, as of yet, it's not been canceled. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've keep, been, yeah. I'm keeping hope alive. Uh, Berthnall has been making the rounds on like uh, late night talk everywhere. He looks so different when he's not on the set. Like he doesn't look like Punisher when you see him on the street. <clears throat> he's back to Shane. <laughs> He don't look like Shane either, too. His hair is growing out. He's actually going to be in the uh, Sopranos feature length movie that HBO yeah. putting together. Who is he going to play? Do you know? I don't know. They didn't They didn't say who, who his character was. But he's one of the main actors in it. Berthnall has been uh, grinding in Hollywood. You know, He's been in some major projects. He was in Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, he did uh, that movie with Stallone. Uh, it was a boxing movie with uh, De Niro and Stallone. Yeah, I'm, I know which one you're talking about. It's like an old school. Berthnall. Yeah, Berthnall was in that. I mean, he's been in some big projects. That uh, that one rock movie where The Rock like had uh, 18 wheelers. He was in that. He's worked with some big names already. Uh, DiCaprio, of course, and Wolf of Wall Street. DiCaprio. Like, Walking Dead, really, you know, Berthnall. <clears throat> character. And I think he, like him as Frank Castle, a lot of people are like, that's such a stretch when it was first announced for season one. Shane, he looks and acts nothing like the Punisher. And now I can't envision another actor with the role, not even um, the original guy from the 2000 movie. Uh, what's his name? What was it, that Thomas Jane? Yeah, Thomas Jane. Yeah. Like, I used to think, Thomas, when you say Punisher live action, that's who came to my mind. I don't know about y'all, it's Thomas Jane. But now... Yeah. You tell me, I can't think of anyone but Berthnall. Yeah. Did you like the guy that did the, was it a Warzone Punisher? Warzone was a, uh, that guy was a, uh, a, a soap opera actor. Was he? Yeah. That's <laughs> the only acting he had prior to that movie. Oh, wow. Well, in Warzone versus what we saw in the show. I, um, my only beef with the Jigsaw was uh, when you see him in the well, the Warzone movie and also uh, comics, he was horribly disfigured. This dude, they gave him a couple of little scratches to me. <laughs> it you just wasn't Jigsaw. -ish. I wanted to, yeah, yeah, I wanted to look like Jigsaw. The, there should have been more on the special effects end for the face. I, I think I, so. I agree, Kevin. I mean, you remember. He smashed his face at the end of season one. I mean, he was dragging it along that mirror on the on the merry-go-round. Yeah, I mean, you can't tell me that all he had was a couple little, couple little scars on his cheeks and stuff. Yeah, his face should have been mangled. It should have been, looked like 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 a like it was shredded with a with a cheese grater. Yeah, and what they did on this, it was more saying he's a jigsaw mentally, like he was mentally destroyed, like a jigsaw, not really. <laughs> Yeah, but in the comics, he's jigsaw because his face was looked like a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think when you were talking about season one and two also, uh, I liked season one. I felt like it started off real slow, and then it built. But I think season two, they throw you right into it, and you're like, it's boom, 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 the it, whole season. It doesn't slow down. It transitions very smoothly. Yeah. Doesn't give you a chance to get disengaged in the show. There's always something happening, and just like that, he's plucked out of that jail cell, and he's in New York. And then the the show's dynamic changes immensely. Let's talk about him going to that rush in uh, the workout place. That was an amazing fight. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that scene in detail, like with the massive Russian dude. Yeah, that that was incredible. 
The no, choreograph in this show, I mean, yeah. how far has it come? Great. I think awesome. Yeah, you're right. That was, I mean, you, you can tell they didn't just do this once or twice and, okay, let's do it. No, they 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 worked on it. John it's broke good. his arm in the bar scene in the first episode. <laughs> in the bar arm, he broke his, uh, his wrist, and he Actually, did the whole scene with a broken wrist. That's awesome. <laughs> And they could, and he didn't tell anybody until after they were done filming. So yeah. the, the stunt five, the coordinators were coming and hey, like why are you being such a pansy? Start doing this a little bit more. <laughs> and he's like, okay, and yeah. making his ligaments worse. <laughs> Broke his hand in that scene. He had to catch that stool with the hand that was broken. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, if I'm at a hundred percent, that's not a big deal. But my hand was broken, so. Yeah, it's a physical movie, and man, it was gruesome. Like that was highly, highly violent. Like I don't remember the first one when they got beat like that. That they were actually, you could see like skull and yeah. you could see muscle and tendon. Like they definitely got the violence up in this season. <laughs> Big time. Oh, you're talking. Yeah, like like the uh the fight in the Russian's gym when he's got that weight and he's the barbells and big Russian. Yeah, and his face is just squirting the yeah. whole time. Everything gets hit. Yeah, it's Squirt gruesome, buddy. Yeah, it's dialed out to the max. But take it back to the hotel massacre where they're gonna get him and Amy, and he knows they're coming, and the way he took them down and. Uh, that chick in that scene, the one that uh, Pilgrim actually kills her himself, that was, she's like a, a former UFC fighter. Is yeah. she, what, what, what's her, what was her name? Gina, Gina something. I'll look it up here. I had no idea. <clears throat> yeah. Let's Very talk about the real knowledge. Power in this season. How much is this cast like? The professionalism of the cast and the believability of the characters. We saw some familiar faces, and there was a lot of new. Yeah. Uh, the girl from Daredevil. Yeah, they brought her back at the very end. And like, uh, she's just, she's just been in relationships with everybody on Netflix. Yeah, but she's had a crush on Frank Castle since he came out in Daredevil in the beginning. Well, having you too, Kevin. Exactly. I but he works out. Kevin. Come on. <laughs> but he works out. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot. I was reading up on uh, like trivia of the show season and like uh, bloopers. Like if you go back to, I think it was episode three or four. There was a part where uh, Madonna, Madani, mm -hmm. they hand her a flask and she drinks out of it, but. And the scene, she actually, the cap stays on the flask the whole time, and you can tell. <laughs> I went back and checked it out. It was part of the bloopers. And did you see in that, uh, the was it episode one when he had the big bar fight you are talking about? Yeah. He actually rock bottomed somebody onto the yeah, floor. He did do a rock bottom. <laughs> I was going to mention that, too. It was a perfect rock bottom. That's uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's finisher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The fight scenes are amazing. I mean, and what about um, when Barnes meets up with the uh, military guys that are all like they have too much time on them? Yeah. And they're bored. They decide to do what they're going to do. Like that whole scene. Didn't that give you vibes of uh, Batman, like in the beginning with the Joker scene and stuff? Like the yeah, way they were set. The, uh -huh. The way they were going to. And then Valhalla was made, and then they were doing the legit mask. And yeah, but the unfortunate thing is, all those guys were way overconfident. Way overconfident. <laughs> Started ending them in that when they tried to trap them in the basement. God. <laughs> oh, they stomped him. I think he was down, dude. He like got a hold of something, and that was turned all the way around. Yeah, he wanted to break him more than he wanted to kill him. <laughs> oh yeah, well, and he almost did it, but if uh, Madonna oh, hadn't, yeah. hadn't figured everything out, that's right. Yeah, they, they set him up. They set him up good. 
It's definitely bloody. <laughs> but it My was an excellent show. season. Yeah, definitely. My kind of show. None of the other uh, Netflix Marvel series have that kind of violence and bloodshed. None of them. It's definitely worth a watch to you guys. I mean, I could see them not necessarily canceling it, but moving it over to their stream just because they can make a lot of money on it. I'm sure maybe it'll grab a few more people. Yeah, I'm sure it will, but I need another streaming service like I need a hole in my head. Yeah. Like, now ABC's got one. It, yeah, it's too much already. Everybody's like, trying to get in on it. By the end of everything, it's going to cost you more to watch TV shows than it will to have cable or I think free TV is going away. Yeah. everybody's gonna. I think everybody's going to go streaming. It's the future. And, and if that's the case, I want no commercials. I just want straight show. Just straight show, and then and then if somebody wants to watch commercials, have a have a channel on that streaming service that's just for advertising. Mm-hmm. That's something, huh? We like like Hulu, for instance. We pay for Hulu, and we still have commercials because they want you to pay another premium just to get it yeah. without commercials. Yeah, to get rid of the commercials. Well, but at least on Hulu, they're real short ones, and you'll get like one kind of long one in the middle of the show. A minute and a half, two minutes, or yeah, it's not too. It's not too bad. Yeah, you can still mainline shows real fast. Uh, what about a uh, Legion? Apparently, this is going to be the final season coming out. There, it's can't going to be done. It's the final season. They're going to end it. I actually do not remember season two, so I'm going back to watch season two one more time. Is that a is that a worthwhile watch? It was different, but I enjoyed season one. It was way different because you're dealing with a lunatic, you know, and you're dealing with what's inside his head. It's all crazy. So the visual they're showing you is of his broken mind. He don't even know. Like that's the problem with his powers. Is he's uh, one of the most powerful? You know, he's a uh, beyond Omega level. He's one of the like handful of beyond Omega level mutants. And he doesn't know what's real or not. So that's a dangerous power to have for someone that's not sure. Right. <laughs> no, I've not gotten into that one. I'm just spoiled by the Marvel. I love the continuity of the Marvel shows where each characters were visiting the other ones and stuff. Yeah, I love that too. It gave like the MCU feel, but on a Netflix level, I mean. I wish a they would do crossovers. Yeah, definitely good crossover. Yeah, like yeah, they put a lot of effort in that. You would see Foggy represent Luke Cage, and you'd see Foggy, yeah. you know, in the Punisher, and, and then you see uh, the Midnight Nurse uh, bang everybody. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she came out on everybody. Well, but uh, the Legion, Legion is uh, Luke. Professor X's son. That's the son of Professor X, huh? Yeah, Legion's Professor X's son. And in the comics, he uh, kind of gets his stuff fire, together. Yeah. So it'd be nice if they did some more with the character. because I didn't book, know. In the comic books, Xavier's son ends up becoming Onslaught, or am I confused? No, Onslaught is actually a clone of uh, Cable and Magneto. Like they, they cloned him with magic and made Strife. No, oh, that's Strife. Uh, yeah, Man, some kind of magic. They use huh. magic or something. Some so, weird story. Uh, so, so audio O five uh, brought up a good point. N no commercials, unless it's about action figures. <laughs> <laughs> Advertise to the audience. If we're watching Marvel shows, yeah, that's right. No figs. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny, Kev, is I was watching one of your videos and a Hot Toys ad was playing. Really? For one of yeah, one of the advertisers for your channel. Yeah, Ke Kevin, your your ads have uh, definitely gone up as far as quality. Like the tier of who it is who's advertising. Yeah. When I go on my uh, what's that app called? Uh, the Studio one. The yeah, it's called YouTube Studio. 
you have to get that app once you go over a thousand like it keeps up with everything and uh I guess it won't show the screens too bright, but uh, that YouTube studio is awesome to have. Uh, it keeps up with everything. It'll tell you what you're making per video every day. It'll update it. Like, you know, I have videos that have made six, seven dollars, just one video. <clears throat> and you know what? I still have not pulled a cent out of it. <laughs> but uh, it also keeps up with your watch time. And I've noticed mm -hmm. my, my watch time is growing. I don't know if you remember, but one of my New Year's resolutions for my channel was to hit 5,000 subs by uh, the end of this new year. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the first month, I went over 200 subs. And just basing it on that, if I can keep that up, I would get yeah, pretty please. close to the 5,000. Yeah. It would be you're in the 4,000. You'll probably hit, you hit 5,000 around the summer. <clears throat> That'd be pretty awesome. Just as a personal goal just you're to see already that. practically halfway there well that's another thing we got to talk about is giveaway stuff okay that's no. a uh, <laughs> i mean I, i'll have to leave i'll have to get up and go get it okay ah. we'll, be, we'll be jabbering while you do that <laughs> <laughs> but uh right. we can just all right what, what i can uh I'm talking smack about me i'll be right back all right <laughs> <laughs> I could bring it up on the, on here. <laughs> I could have just brought it up on the internet if you want. I can switch over and show mine. Oh, yeah. Do that, Kev. Okay. Do, do that. I don't feel like climbing over crap. <laughs> Let me find it, and then I'll show it. I'm going to give you guys some special effects, man. Oh, yeah. So what's our overall? Let's, Judson, you talk while he's doing that. Your overall feels on the Punisher series and – how bad do you want season three to happen? Oh, I, I think I think where they took season two, uh -huh. it would be a travesty if they just stuck on a shelf and didn't do a season three. I mean, David, I, and not, not to give any spoilers out because I saw in the chat that some haven't seen the end yet. Yeah, but they leave it open. Yeah, so where they show Madani and the offer she gives them. And I love that scene, like he's already sent the kid on her way and he's doing his own thing. Right, he, right. In technology. Um, that's the predator. That's the predator. I always say that the Punisher that we know and love, he, he's using tech as well as the weaponry to that's how you can take down 20 guys by himself. No powers. There's very few no power heroes out there as the reputation that Punisher has. I mean, like, there are legit villains in the universe that fear him because they've been in his crosshairs before and they know he doesn't quit. Right. It's kind of like actually in the comics, he, he stole machine armor. Did y'all see that? Yeah, I remember that. He stole the war machine armor and he put a skull on it. And he was killing, <laughs> killing villains with it. I want that figure. It had something to do with Hydra when Steve Rogers jumped ship and was really with Hydra, something like that. Yeah. Then he stole the the punter. He was killing Hydra people. Imagine if, uh, imagine if Hasbro released that. That would be awesome. That's so yeah, we we all agree though. It's they they're leaving it for season three to go forward the way we're I taking. Think, I think they're leaving it so that if the option presents itself, yeah, we will get it. We will get a season three. I, I think they need to work everything out, and it really comes down to is Netflix willing to pay Disney to keep it to keep it there, and and is Disney willing to offer them that that option. Or is Disney just like, no, we're going to put it on a shelf for a year while we decide what we're going to do with it and then recast the whole thing? That's what I'm worried about, yeah. is that they put it on the shelf for a year and then decide to recast the whole thing. And then and then we loved the first two seasons, and then we're like, wait a minute, not to get used to all new actors playing these characters that we've now grown to love, actually. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna it's not going to be a good transition not at all no. they, they need to disney needs to make that decision quick i think 
Because I, I think if they don't, I don't think we're going to get any more. I think it's just going to sit on a shelf and collect dust. There's cops over there now. So. The show. Don't send them to my house. Uh-oh. <laughs> Harry's got cops. Keep him away from me. No, oh, there's a drunk here. over here in our neighborhood. I'm not here. I'm not, not here. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah. Just in time when you say giveaway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, was wait, should we know? Should you we say know? giveaway <laughs> three times <laughs> fast and he awesome. appears. <laughs> like Beetlejuice. The giveaway goblin. <laughs> Huh? Like Beetlejuice. Hmm. What it looks like his it looks like his venom's head is eating mine. <laughs> That's cool, right? <laughs> Who that? Who there? Who that? Who that gonna beat them saints? Wait, look. Rob, by the way, I want to tell everybody in the chat that Drew Brees had went to the Super Bowl, he would have destroyed the Patriots. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And you know what? St. Louis has no love for the Rams. If these boys had made it to the Super Bowl, it would have been a better story. <laughs> Just putting that one out there. The kid would have tore him up. Well, Did any of y'all watch the halftime show with Adam Levine? Yeah. I had to. Apparently they were. And he didn't do sweet. They were pissed off at him. Yeah, he didn't do it. There was over a million signatures. <laughs> we're back. Back oh, again. Man. Damn job, man. They don't want to let you leave. <laughs> <laughs> was that was who was hollering at you? Yeah, they're like, you got something else to do. I'm like, no. Yeah, like, I'm on the, clock. the only thing I got to do is chill with my broskies <laughs> and get home. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing you got to do is pay me. Right? <laughs> well, you're you're on just in the nick of time. We're going to go over details for next week's stream. Because there Justin he has something to give away. Uh-oh. Oh, Audio 5 says he likes the uh, he like big boy. Big boy's part in the halftime. Oh, uh, and, uh, outcast. Yeah, the guy from Outcast, the other yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah you, you, there was no way that they had they, they were gonna do a halftime show and not have them in there. You see, no things about uh, I was watching the halftime show about that movie. Yeah, Mr. Adam Levine. Man, I didn't realize. Last time I saw him, he was like only had one sleeve. Oh yeah. And he hadn't worked on the other arm. This time he was like inked up like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was some dope art too that he had on him, man. Yeah. I wanted to see what what he had on his back though. He looked like he had a full back done. Fig Life Miami esque, where uh, Judson's from Chicago. Yeah, here, my, my my old man figures trying to type. I'll just tell him. Yeah, I, I grew up in Chicago. I live in Ohio now. But yeah, Chicago's Chicago's my hometown. I I bleed uh, blue and orange, and black and red, and white and blue. I'm about to say, hold on, man. He's a he's a bear fan, and he's living in in brown territory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> well, you probably got Nathan, Sim Nathan Simmons really happy. Is that that's just her team. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I've uh, I've become a transplant fan. They're, they're, they're my AFC. They're my AFC team. I can admit it. They're horrible. <laughs> they're horrible, but I kind of like them. I can admit it. <laughs> I can admit it. Oh, you know what? I can't, I can't see the Bears every Sunday, so I gotta watch something. Let's see. I didn't get to do this last time when we were um, on the stream with Dondi, <coughs> but on my walk home, I actually get to toy hunt. 
I actually stop by this uh, Walgreens all the time. Oh, okay. nice. Who's got their list ready? We got a got live hardcore right. stream, Kev. Look at that. Breaking all kinds of boundaries. All right, got, <laughs> got my pen. You ain't going to get this from the... Uh, <laughs> we need that mystique. <laughs> uh, where's the toy? There we go. Anybody need dresses? Oh, yeah. Give me that stripe one right there. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> so, we need some of these. Some of the kebabs. <laughs> oh, there we go. Captain Brenton. <laughs> Dude, I have yet to ever see him over here. You have him, don't you? No. I don't I even have, you have the bath piece, though, right? No, I don't even have the bath pieces. I have, I have I This is one bath that I have yet to build. I thought you had that thing. I'm confused with that goblin that looks like that. Yeah, I have the goblin. That but, that thing reminds me of the goblin too much, but that's the enemy of the Hulk, right? Yep. What's his name? Uh, <coughs> that bath of Captain Britain. What's that thing's name? The Hulk's enemy? Uh, the Abomination. Abomination, that's it. I thought you had that thing. No, man. I, I, I wanted to... Uh, Build this, but knowing that the Scarlet Witch is so hard to find, yeah, I kind of just was like, nah. And I actually seen the rest of the wave, um, in Houston somewhere, but yeah. I'm like, I, that that Scarlet Witch, man, it's so expensive. Like on online, I Who else didn't, I didn't... Who else oh, is there for... hiding? That looks like to be the only one. I see the vulture wave. Yeah, tombstone. Is that the same mold as the gray gargoyle tombstone from Captain Marvel? Mm. It just looks really similar. <laughs> yeah. That top is like dead on. I keep meaning to pick him up. What, gray gargoyle or tombstone? <laughs> oh, tombstone. I haven't seen gray gargoyle yet. I think people have found tombstone like at. Uh, Somewhere dirt cheap. I think it's oh, some shit. of the Rosses that came up. Yeah, yeah he's, like, he's being found on the uh, resellers. Like, there's three of them over here. What is Look at that? Just a some... peace party. <laughs> it's a it's a, Just... it's a tombstone party. Tombstone party. Tombstone. <laughs> what, what, what do you want on your tombstone? Too. Uh, <laughs> you got me. Got him for me, Harry. Pepperoni. <laughs> you remember those commercials, Jetson? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want on your tombstone? Pepperoni and sausage. <laughs> <laughs> they got a Power Ranger. I think this Power Ranger has been here for like years. <laughs> I got to fill it's my Walgreens. There's so much dust on top of all the figures. It's yeah. Fun. You can grow like a little garden in there, huh? Look at that Jen Arso, Lord. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you they know what? Pay you. They should pay you to take that home. <laughs> I know, right? That's actually the fig that started my um my Black Series collection. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, geeked up sent it to me. Man, no love for that Kylo right there. No, I know, right? No love for that Kylo. Who else we got back here? We got a uh, Maz. Uh. Kind of cool with that chest. She was four dollars at Walmart for quite a while. Four dollars? You got one then, Kevin? Oh yeah, I got like two or three. Look at this! I'm surprised that this is actually still here. Yeah, hit. It actually looks pretty nice. I below, yeah, five below. I sure. saw him at uh, GameStop today. Yeah, it's at Walmart too. Oh, seriously? Yeah, a lot of people in the SH figure arts Dragon Ball will get that Dragon Star as a placeholder because there is no SH hit yet. Yeah. So he looks so good as a Dragon Star, they're putting him in their dios as a placeholder. It looks good. Oh, wow. Too. It looks good, too. His, uh, his uh, articulation isn't as good, but his, the look is great. Right, right. 
And you're talking about a character that when he isn't fighting, he's literally just standing there. He's not posing. Yeah, it's all you need to do in a display, really. Yeah. Who got there? there? I got that. Did y'all beat that game yet, Judson? My, yeah, my wife did. She mainlined it. Was she there. happy? Oh, Satisfied with the it. ending? Yeah, she loved it. Is she going to have to wait 30 years for the next one? Probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> she had to wait 15 years for this one. I didn't see that. Yeah, no kidding. So they're yeah. going to double that up. 30 years for Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> oh, won't be able to play. <laughs> All right. You'll be on a VR headset. You won't need a joystick. You'll just be in the VR and the wife and I'll be so old, let's give us both. Is that a Nightmare game. Before Christmas, Fix? Yep. No, what, it's what's, the the what's the price? The, on? It's probably 15 I need that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. That one I that one I hit you up about, Harry, not too long ago was, was like 15 I think, mm. in my Walgreens. You need it, Kev? I'm going to stash it for you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't last well. long those nightmare figs at Walgreens. That shit good because I won't be in Houston for another few months. <laughs> nah, because but this has been here for a while to tell you yeah. the truth. I, I'll find it. I'm not in a need uh, hurry because I keep buying so much crap. Jen Arso, no one will ever touch that. <laughs> that I'll, one's safe. I'll, hide it behind that one. I'll get you this one and the Jen Arso. <laughs> no, hide it behind. <laughs> it. <laughs> I think oh, I have yeah. like three or four of her. People will avoid gin like, like poison ivy. I usually uh, take it to the diapers. <laughs> the high brand, the most yeah, expensive I've... brand that never sells out. It's always in stock. <laughs> Surprisingly, dude, I've I've hit, I've put stuff there and it sit there for like six months. I yeah. like totally forget about it. I believe it. I was watching Brando uh, eighty two uh, video and he's he's uh, found some some of these new World of Nintendo figs. Yeah, he loves those things. This is actually an exclusive, right here. Will it Bill? Yeah, a red one. Uh huh. I didn't see what are these pin mates? Oh, I wanted to bring up uh, our homie uh, Bert, and hey, you guys know him as Ed. Ed's red. He's doing. His Q and A, and he's looking for. It's a great way to get exposure to his audience because if you can send him a clip of your question, he'll play your clip on his answer video. So that's really cool. And you got to understand, he's actually located in Holland or something like that. One of them, Belgium. yeah, Belgium. Yeah. So you get exposure to people that wouldn't normally find you on their algorithm on their YouTube. Sure. So try to do a clip and send it to him. I think he's taking him over Facebook, but there's another thing he'd rather you. It's all explained in this video. Ed's Retro Geek Out. Venom Fang and Hot Cheeto Fingers recently hit the 600 sub milestone. That's awesome. I think Hot Cheeto's got an active giveaway or he's about to announce one. Yeah. He's been working on a custom that he said he's going to give away. Yeah, it's that Ultra Instinct Goku with the silver hair. Yeah, it's nice. I had like blood and like damage. He's good with that stuff. He's really good with doing the. I love his detail, don't you? Oh yeah. It's it's freaking loaded with figs, dude. Yeah. He's got a nice setup. So does uh. June Elite Gaming, he has a nice. Yeah, I like seeing his uh, his legends. wrestlers, Thank his wrestlers, yeah, <clears throat> and his legends, and his legends, yeah. But that that WWE uh set of man, <laughs> that's bananas, man. Oh, god, his, his setup looks like like uh, Patriot Prime's uh, Transformer <laughs> oh, setup, dude, it's Cybertron. Yeah, I mean he should he should be like on that uh that show that 
Patriot Times. Got, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm catching up on the chat. You need ice cream. <laughs> I'm almost done with Walgreens over here. Go to them. Yeah, mine never have anything good. I three year old legends. I tried to find thing just because I know there are some people in the community looking for it, and I never saw it. Never saw it. Never saw it. (laughs) This Walgreens that I just walked into actually uh, had got two of them. Um, I stashed one, and then I left one behind those dresses that I saw, y'all. And I came back just because uh, I remember somebody was asking me about one. And I came back, and, it, and just the box was there. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, they're, they're, they're like savage at this, at this, uh, at this Walgreens. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, like, soon start putting them in, in behind the cases like they do in California and shit. I want them to do it down here by me. They keep stealing the bath. They either steal the bath or they completely fig swap it. So it's like, it's like a completely different figure with no bath piece. I mean, it, I'm sorry, but if you're going to steal something, have balls and just steal the whole damn thing. Pardon my French. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, but really, I mean, honestly, you should pay for it, dude. I mean, like. Well, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to that extent of like switching shit out, you might as well <laughs> just you know keep it and shit. I mean, I, I was more shocked at the, the the time when I actually seen a dude dude in progress of stealing the shit. I mean, that one was so like it blew me away. If I if I was like still. I mean, if I was um, YouTubing at that time, I would have had to have, like, recorded that guy. But I was <laughs> shocked when I seen him. I'm, I was just like, what the heck is he doing? And he was just, like, taking all the pieces out. And I'm like, wow. I know I know when you go to some places, some people like to open the box and say, like, well, you know, I'm going to buy it anyway. So I just want to make sure it fits. Or I just want to make sure this thing is the right size. Okay, I could kind of somewhat understand that, but when this guy is like literally taking the toy and he's sticking them in his pocket, I'm like, all right, I know you're not buying that, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. And you, and you have no intentions of buying it. It's just like it's coming home with you. And I'm quite sure he's like one of the guys that you catch on Offer Up or Craigslist, and he's selling that shit for like, you know, twice as what it is in the box. Because. I mean, I, I, that, that's like my second market is to try to go through offer up and try to find it. And usually I will, but there's like, like when I find one good person that's actually selling it for a decent price, there's 30 other guys on there selling it for 30, 40 bucks, and it's not even in the box. And I'm like, dude, how do you have the audacity to do that? I mean, they, they, they ruin it for the rest of us that are, like, you know, in it for, you know, the, the, the joy of the figures uh-huh. and stuff. Well, yeah, they, they, they take the fun out of the hunt. Exactly. I mean, finding that, find that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure today took me back to, like, like the first time I was in a toy store as a kid. Like, I was happy because I saw something new that I'd never seen. Did Venom see it earlier? You had to show him again that snake. And hunting for hunting for legend just makes me angry now. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying, dude. You ain't lying. I swear, it's like we get pushed into just like having to shop on Amazon, and then you go to make a video, and it's like, oh, well, you know, I was gonna make a hunt video, but you know, I couldn't find it, so I found it on uh, I found it on on Amazon. Yeah. Or in my case. I go to Walmart and there's nothing but songbirds on the page. <laughs> there's like 30 songbirds and like maybe one snake, whatever. <laughs> I gotta get him back for it. That's what I grabbed today. Look at that thing. Hold on, let me see. Oh, that's dope. The universe. 
They came with a ton of weapons, too. Where did you find that at? At GameStop. Believe it or not, GameStop. Wow. Hang on, let me... Came with a sword. Wow. It's like pretty good detail. He's got a club. Steel. And and a head sculpt that I can't figure out what to do with. (laughs) Oh, shit. That looks tight. Custom. That's sweet. I gotta figure it out. I'm af- I'm afraid to break it. I keep pulling on the on the big snake head on the top. Of it. <laughs> it goes, but <laughs> He's yanking on the snake. <laughs> yanking on that snake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why seeing that snake face. It, it reminded me of the. It reminded me of the uh, first Conan. Oh, oh yeah, right. it did. You're right. I would love to see them like either NECA or some kind of line make the Conan figures from the Arnold Schwarzenegger days. Oh, that would be that'd be a black hole. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> You know who's making Conan figures is uh, that funk called Sounds ones. Oh, are they? Yeah. I've already seen pictures from the last uh, SCC sneak peeks. They look good. They look pretty cool. They're making a, what's his name, a James Earl Jones figure and, of course, Conan, a couple others. What? To the Savage Land, Kevin? Yeah, those ones that look like He-Man knockoffs. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be pretty soon. That would be that would be dope to see them make the the second uh the second part where he gets like all his friends in there like Grace Jones and Yeah. Yeah. Will Chamberlain. Yeah. How about the how about the, the camels so you can knock them out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that knockout feature. <laughs> that would be oh. The judo punch. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all ever see the? I think it was a. Was it Jason Momoa? He did a. I think a 2011 reboot. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, I got that 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 movie. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I haven't watched that one. It's way different than the original, but Oh was. yeah. Yeah, I was kind of weirded out by the mom and by the I mean by the by the dad and the the daughter uh kind of like duo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, the villains. Yeah, Momoa is pretty dreamy, so I have to check it out. <laughs> Man, that dude's six foot seven. That's crazy. He's a big dude. I'm trying to think of that other YouTuber man that has like a man crush on Jason Momoa. It's Art Miranda. Is oh, Taylor? is it? Yeah. <laughs> Taylor. He's in love with him. Art Miranda is yeah, that's who it is. He's in love with that guy. He always talks about the pops and the figures. He always mentions them somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one time when I was sitting back watching me and Jason Momoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, you know Jason Momoa? He's like, no, I just saw him on TV yesterday. <laughs> Made my day. <laughs> it reminded me of some guy that I used to work with. He used to always tell... Me and the guys that we worked with, like, oh, yeah, I went to this concert. And I'm like, really? You went to that concert? And he's like, yeah, I saw it. And I'm like, wow, what did, where did you see that? And he goes, it was on Access TV yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? That's not you going to the concert, bro. <laughs> 
Hey, Venom. Cody yeah. Springs wants to know how the hell you're outside right now. It's I'm like actually... It's like eight degrees in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. In, in Houston, Texas, it's about a good... A, a breezy 75. <laughs> I'm actually like walking home. <laughs> that was scary. I'm having nightmares tonight now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I didn't have my flash, my trusty flashlight with me, <laughs> this is like watch, walking walking home in pitch black. I can tell. Those dogs are on you now. Yeah. I feel like, it's feel like in West Texas. 63? In West Texas. Oh, wow. <laughs> I used to work in West Texas. Harry's getting ready to bust the moves. You see him over there? He looks like Jim Saul's partner. <laughs> <laughs> About to rob a bank. You can't take anything away from the guy that plays Russo in that show. Or he's going to be the new Papa. The new what? Papa. <laughs> oh, a luchador? No, Papa Lucha. He's a... <laughs> a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, is he in the stream? No, I haven't seen him. Oh. That's just what it reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, what's his name from WCW? La Parka. La Parka, yeah. Yeah, he actually wears that mask. I was almost tempted to do that at one time where just wearing a mask and show, like, you know, how everybody usually just shows their face. And I was tempted to actually do my do my channel by wearing a mask, but I thought it's so, it sounds so muffled when you talk. Yeah. But I guess a, uh, there's a couple of them out there that do it. Yeah, that guy with the bone something. He's a Transformer dude. Yeah, isn't that uh, – Kev, you Scully know him, right? Or something. Yeah. Scully. I didn't know that he was actually – he, he resides in Houston. Yeah. He talk, yeah, he, uh, he talks with the Optimus Prime mask. There's another guy that's a, a horror, he has a horror channel, and he talks with a with a Jason mask on. There's also an uh, older guy, I think his, the channel's called Oh My God, It's Chris. Ooh, and he, does a, he has a Jason mask also. Are, are you guys sure you're not watching videos on the dark web? <laughs> That'd be cool if there was toy hunters on the dark web are the guys that are stealing the bath pieces from the store. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, check it out. We're going to go on a hunt. We're going to go on a hunt in the dark. <laughs> I got three left wings to the culture wave. I got... <laughs> And they can be yours for the low cost of twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> Did we talk about the Luke yet? We haven't. Might as well do that. Yeah. We're running on an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm 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 crashing too. I'm going wow, down. it's been an hour and a half already? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, do, let's talk about it. Uh, so, <laughs> you want me to... Take it away, Cap. All right. So, what we're planning on doing for this next Wednesday is do a giveaway. Judson's going to be giving away uh, one of the new archive... Uh, series one action figures, new on card, and I'm gonna find something to give away. And we're gonna do that on the, at the end of the stream. 
so we want to drum up a lot of uh, viewers to, to hit the chat that Wednesday. I'm going to, I already put a picture up because you can post, you know, I posted a picture on YouTube. So the picture's showing itself. And then I want to post it in all the groups and stuff. Maybe even do a video about it too before just to pick it up. <clears throat> but it's going to be pretty cool. Huh? And they'll have to be on chat, like in chat at the time we do the giveaway or it doesn't count, right? We'll throw it out. Pick yeah, it they, yeah, they, they have to be they have to be in the chat to win. Well, at least, at least if they want to win the loop, they got to be here. Yeah. And I need to make it really clear. The card is in no way mint. <laughs> I want to make sure that that's known. And that's probably the only reason why I found it. It's not horrible. It's not horrible, but men on card, men on card collectors aren't going to be happy with it. <laughs> it's a little rough around the edges. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> in the slightly, in the slightly greasy at the tips. <laughs> 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 oh my god and I'll probably pull out a I have a bunch of extras like as far as some of the older black series and can are me and Venom allowed to enter yes or no Judson <laughs> yeah right <laughs> it's either heads or tails of him and I getting both <laughs> right there This tag team's bar coming out again. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would say that that uh, I'd rather someone. I'd rather bring in, drum up some new people into the chat. Get some more, uh, some more subs for everybody. Some new blood. And, and, and if and if if one of us wins it, no one's gonna be happy. They're gonna automatically assume it's a fixed deal. Right, exactly. It's rigged. It's fixed. I'll fix it. Do you want me to win, or who do you want to win? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be a lot of fun. We'll do that. Hopefully, I'm going to use one of those. I'll, uh, <clears throat> as we go, we'll have people say in chat, you know, I want you to answer me, and I want you to answer me. And I'll run them their name into this other software uh, that they have a free picker like that way. And then that way I can put it up on the screen and they can watch it randomly. Pick. Guess who's back? Back again. Juan is back. <laughs> Tell a friend. <laughs> he only does hey, Instagram, Harry. but that guy has some great... Mm -hmm. uh, Juan's vintage. back. One of them. He's got some really good uh, vintage. If you ever, if you can add it, uh, look him up on Instagram. That guy has some grails when it comes to vintage for sure. What's his IG, Kev? Juan, can you post your Instagram there on the, in the chat? That's my way of saying I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guarantee you, I think I have early onset Alzheimer's because it's getting bad. Nah, it's not Alzheimer's. Sometimes. It's called, it's called being old. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, see all this gray? What happens <laughs> is it, it seeps into your brain after a while. It grays it all out. <laughs> You're just going to be cosplaying as Grace all this Halloween, right, Judson? <laughs> You'd be Eldor. Yeah, Wizard, Eldor. Uh, Wizard Eldor. That's yeah. a pre, pre attorney <laughs> figure. You shall not pass. I feel you're going to be going down that, that hole next, Judson. The Masters of the Universe, Matt, the Super Seven ones. You know what? I like them. They're growing on me. I don't like the super articulated ones, though. I don't either. I'm too. That's that's just why I played with as a kid. I wanted to be like they were when I was a kid. I'm the same way. Five points, head, arms, and legs. Yeah, that's all I want. That's all I want. And, and don't get me wrong, the, the the articulated ones are really sweet. 
and the sculpts are really nice. I'm just, I don't know, I'm too old school. Did we talk about the Pilgrim on Punisher 3? <laughs> no, we forgot about Pilgrim. He's like the best character, too. Yeah, can we talk about how awesome he was, the writing? I'm going to say I probably liked him as much as the Punisher, at least. <laughs> yeah, he's up there. Oh, he's up there. He was Punisher Jr. Definitely. You you are the whirlwind. <laughs> you are the whirlwind. And he was a pawn the whole time. Oh yeah. I love I love the scene when they break into the manor. The... Yeah. He's like, I was gonna give you a chance, but what he told what he said about his wife. Yeah. Stop pointing that gun at my wife's head. We need, <laughs> we need a pilgrim action figure with a hat. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, we need Jigsaw. We need Billy Russo Jigsaw. Yeah. For sure. But do we want... Now, here's the question, though. With Jigsaw, do we want an actual mask that you put on Billy Russo, or do we want an alternate head? We want both, an alternate head and a mask. Yeah, it should be able to be before the cuts and after. Yeah, before and after. They can do that. But, they but can it be like, do that. Right, but, but it should be like like they do the, like NECA does the um, the Jason figures where, where you can take the mask off if you want to and see his mangled face. Yeah, that'd be cool. But again, we're hoping for too much. I wouldn't mind if they made uh, what's his name from Luke Cage season two, uh, Bushmaster figure. Oh man, that was a cool. Thing. And, that was uh, Netflix Kingpin needs to be done. Yeah, that that was a cool character. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'd be stoked about a Netflix Kingpin. Yeah, we need a Netflix wave too. They could do the Netflix Kingpin as the back to the next wave of Netflix figures. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll build it next year. Female yeah. characters you want. Okay. <laughs> Female characters from the Netflix series that need to be made because last time we got Jessica Jones and that was it. We got Electra. We got Jessica. Oh, Electra, right, right. That was it. Yeah. So who deserves it? Who deserves a Madani? <clears throat> we need Madani. Yeah, we need the the blind. and like an FBI getup. Yeah, that'd be cool with her. We we need Madani. We also need um the other. Is he? He's just a regular cop, right? Oh, the one for for New York. Uh, Oh, the one yeah, that was we, we, yeah, it? we need the New York cop. I like him. He yeah. was cool. He was like the only like really he was straight and honest. <laughs> He's like, Castle, don't you move. He's on his debt, like laying there all beat up after the wreck. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That? You do what you gotta do, and he keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and his uh buddy. Uh, what's his name? His his friend with the one leg, Curtis. <laughs> medic. Curtis, yeah. Oh, I say that he kind of hits home to you, Kev, being a paramedic. Yeah, he was he was jumping in there. What'd you think of him on that roof with the sniper rifle, killing people? It was the first time he actually, you know, can identify him as like ex-military because he did the the group sessions, but it yeah. was actually kind of and when him and uh. He held his own pretty good against uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, when Pilgrim went in there, yeah, he could have gone, got it gone a lot worse. He did good. He stayed alive at least. But Pilgrim yeah, I mean that's Jackson. that's saying something. You saw what he did. To, let's talk about the restaurant scene with Pilgrim. Oh yeah, the restaurant scene. Yeah, uh, Judson. Let's let's take it from there. He he sit in the restaurant. And the guy from his past shows up, and he knows what's about to go down. Oh, when the, when the white supremacists show up. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about, talking about how gruesome that choreograph was. Oh man, they, oh they they beat that man. 
I, I wasn't sure if he was gonna get out of that, to be honest with you. He had he had some tough opposition in there. He certainly did. He I'm glad he got that did. bartender though. Before the bartender got away, I'm glad he got him. That that uh <laughs> jaw thing was weak and, uh, that when they kind of curb stomped him on the table with the jaw. Oh thing. God. <laughs> That was vicious, and the cut, the cut to his flank, that was pretty vicious. How how realistic were the the damage on the show, Kev? To you, it was realistic. Somebody that has to patch people up for a living. Yeah, I think they did a great job. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yep, for sure, they did a really good job. But I mean, those people that do the makeup and special effects, they're top of the line, man. Definitely. When, uh, when when Pilgrim got that gash on the side of his stomach, uh huh, and he was bleeding out. That's the one where you could kind of see like uh, muscle and stuff under the yeah, flesh like that. yeah. Next layer, it looked pretty good. Yeah, and he pulled that uh, GPS thing out of the uh, FBI car. <laughs> Fig life's gonna mute us. Oh, is he still in there? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we're ru we're ruining the but, show for him. But, but we the funny thing is he had left. We stopped talking about it and just and he and comes he back and says, yeah, he pops in and we start ruining. Hey, it. we're being as vague as we can be about. It. Yeah. Hey, and I was under the impression that he wasn't in here anymore. I didn't want to spoil it for anybody. <laughs> no, it's 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 too good. To... But let me tell you, at the end, now I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <anything laughs> Perfect. So, what do we have next in, in the in the way of a superhero stuff? We got Shazam. We got uh, we got the X Men, Dark Phoenix. Yeah, the Dark yeah. Phoenix is a good read, comic book read too. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel comes out in March. April, March. Yeah, Captain Marvel looks good. Mm hmm. And then you got, you got it. Game. April, I'm not yeah, the big game. Captain Marvel fan. Endgame is just coming around the corner. April's not that far away. <clears throat> I'm not the biggest Captain Marvel fan either, but you kind of need it to tie into Endgame, so I'm willing to see it for that reason. No, I, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, is, is yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it, but but we need it to tie in, and yeah. you know it's going to be a good movie. Yeah, for sure. They've been killing it on all of them, so Marvel has the recipe down. And then the, the third confirmed MCU movie of 20. Sorry, Fig Life. <laughs> The confirmed third MCU movie of this year by Marvel is going to be the next Spider-Man with Mysterio. Oh, yeah. Far from home. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Should we have gotten M-Gang first before they drop the Far From Home trailer? Well, here's my question. Do we know, is it definitively after Endgame or is it before Endgame? No, we don't. It hasn't been I revealed. I heard that there's some um, there's some theories that supposedly Spider Man never got off the bus. What that was like an all dream? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that's what I was hearing from a the YouTube time, video. Um, time's the key to everything. The one that Doctor Strange is in charge of. Yeah, that's the one that could fix everything. <laughs> <clears throat> He willingly gave it to Thanos to spare Stark. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. My, my biggest problem is this. I've already read this whole story. And they, they did an animated movie, too, of the story with Thanos. Yeah, but and the I Russos think, have their own liberties. If they, they, they do, but fairly, it's... It's, there's some differences, but barely. It's almost the same as the so far as the animated movie I watched. So far, in the animated, does uh, Captain Marvel pretty much whoop Thanos? It's the whole team combined. They like go at him and they're hitting him left and right, boom, 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 towards the end. In the comics, like there's a, I, it may be a what if, but I mean there was a time that Spider-Man got it, Deadpool got the gauntlet. And they become the supposedly, most supposedly, Chris Hemsworth's contract's over, 
and Captain America, uh, his contract's over, and Iron Man, his movie deal's over. Well, they're having it. They've all, they both also come out and said they were both done playing those characters too, though. Yeah. So even if the contracts, I, I don't think they would even re-sign a contract anyway. I think they're just done with playing superheroes for the moment. They made Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo is still <laughs> under contract, so he's still in the MCU Hulk after Endgame. Right, right. I'm just I'm talking about uh, what is, who is it? Uh, Chris Evans and uh, and Robert Downey. Robert Downey, yeah. They're, and they're then uh, Chris Hemsworth's contract's up too. Thor. Yeah. Yeah. But I, cool. but I don't know if Helmsworth is necessarily done wanting to play that role, though, like the other two. Like, he'd be willing to go back to the table and say, Right. The- the cool thing about that is uh, in the comics, I mean, everybody, all those characters become someone else eventually, like girls, you know, that instead of guy, it's a girl or white dude becomes a Hispanic dude. So it'd be cool to see them change it up anyway after all this time. Maybe mix it up a little. Who's the new cat? I think they'd have to... That'd be great, but I think they would have to give it a little time for everybody to sort of get used to them being gone. Because I think if they did it too fast, it'd be too weird seeing someone else playing that character, though. Yeah, that's true. Kevin, you can choose... Between Falcon and Bucky, you want to be the new Cap if Evans isn't. Man, uh, I could see both of them doing a good job with it, but I guess I would probably, I don't know, maybe Falcon. I I, I like how Falcon looks as Captain America with the wings still. <laughs> I think it looks cool. but. And what, Bucky just stays the White Wolf? He could stay the White Wolf, yeah. If I mean they're gonna do another for sure, doing another Black Panther, so he needs to be around for that. Maybe I'm gonna start uh, working <laughs> out, getting into shape. I'm gonna be the next Tony Stark. <laughs> you can the do next, it. The Just next start. Tony Stark. Tony Stark. <laughs> the next Tony Stark in the comics is a, a black female. And, Isn't it? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. He actually. Isn't he it Tyler's sister? He becomes the AI. I'm not sure who she was. I've I've read a comic uh, one of one of the issues where she first becomes, and he's the AI inside the the suit. He's the one uh, like teaching her, coaching her. Wakanda forever. <clears throat> hey, they were CGI talking about is, CGI is really good these days. I can play a black female. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> may have to shave a little bit. I <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nope. I identify as a black female. <laughs> <laughs> They're bringing oh. up a good point in the chat about uh, getting a new Ghost Rider. I think. Uh, oh, that would what be I sick. Want, though, is I don't want the next one to be Johnny Blaze again. I would like it to be the Robbie Reyes Ghost Ghost Rider for a the one from. Yeah. I'm with the, the, the one like from uh, Agents of Shield. Yeah, instead of a motorcycle, yeah. he has that vintage American muscle, and he has the cool leather jacket. Yeah. Robbie Reyes would be the. Does he drive a low rider? Then he had like a. It, it was like a. No, nah, it was a charger. Yeah. <laughs> and when he becomes Ghost Rider, the charger gets all fired up. Speaking of Ghost. So the, Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. This right here is... Oh, dude. I had this figure back in the day, brand new. This is one of the ones that I had to sell. And I and I acquired last year. Is that the Legend one? The Toy Biz? Yeah, this is the Toy Biz. The, the one with the flat tires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's the one that uh, shot him. His prime got that on his wall, and it has like he has a, a ghost rider running up beside it. Yeah, yep, same one. I'm surprised they haven't brought that uh, character. Oh, out. Vengeance, 
Oh, yeah, they haven't given us a new vengeance. I'm surprised, too. That is so sick. Or even to see him in the in the movies. What was that, Venom? I would have I would have loved to seen him like in one of the Ghost Rider movies. Oh yeah, me too, definitely. I mean, he's such an iconic sort of villain. I don't know why it was why he wasn't. Well, Kevin, I guess we can start saying our goodbyes. We're going on two hours here. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, got some last minute shout outs. Anybody? I want to give a shout out to the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Put his God bless. There. God bless America. God bless yeah. Iron Man. Uh, you guys are all the whirlwind to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're the whirlwind. You're, the, you're all the stones in my gauntlet. You're the whirlwind. I just want to say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> hey, where are you going after this? I'm going to Disneyland. Who else do you want to shout out, Venom from Tag Team Hector? <clears throat> Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles. Where can you catch me next? In your giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. In your random comment picture, as yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or on your on your cut up piece of paper going into your hat, <laughs> <laughs> David Blucker style. People be turning their camera off after they pick Venom. Turn it on again. Refilm. Who gets picked? Venom fan. <laughs> Damn it! He won again. You don't really know how many takes there are when someone uploads a random comic picker. <laughs> I know, right? That would be like a 13th take. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's why it's probably better to do live every time, I guess, if you wanted to. I, re I reshot this video 15 times. This guy keeps fucking winning. Poor <laughs> 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 approval about it. How many how many damn boxes do I gotta send to his house? <laughs> I'm gonna have to send my kids. <laughs> yeah, do you take partial credit? <laughs> It'll probably be the same time, Cody Spring next week. Yeah, next Wednesday around 8 p.m. Central. Someone's going to win an archive, Luke. It ain't going to be Venom Fang. Uh, ain't going to be I'm me gonna, either. I'm what if it just it. somehow my name randomly comes back in there and shit? <laughs> then the Lord's <laughs> Hey, one time Hector, Hector got on here and he said you won your own giveaway somehow. <laughs> He's like, all right, y'all, it's time to pick a winner. He's like, I really can't explain it. I didn't even put myself in the drawing, but somehow I <laughs> named all of the hats and all the paper. So that's the end of this one. See you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, Venom out. <laughs> Venom got the giveaway. <laughs> I didn't want to send it to you anyway. <laughs> it's sweet. I'll put my I'll put my real name in there and yeah. Yeah. Now that guy gets the. Now that guy gets the win. This guy never wins. He deserves it. <laughs> he deserves it. Like, hey, that guy deserves it. He never wins. <laughs> Come on, skill. Man, him, man. You're the whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> Renee, you're the you're the whirlwind in Venom Fang. <laughs> oh. oh man. Dang it. Yeah. All right. Can you, there we go. Is it off? No, I'm, I'm on still. I just. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. I kicked my alternate ego out. <laughs> Check out wow. all the tag team called Sub Judson, too, because we're trying to get him to 100. He'll do a giveaway. We're trying was, to get him to his first video. I was going to say that also when we do the giveaway Wednesday, that that's part of the rules that everybody in the stream has to sub to Judson to be 
<laughs> yeah, if you want a chance at the figure, you want a chance to win. Publicly subscribe. <clears throat> what I think I'm do is I'm gonna get like uh, probably about three things I want to give away, and we'll do all three of those first, and we'll save his for the very last, and then we'll cut the stream after that. I guess that could be at the end if you want. Whatever, I don't care. It works for me. It's really cool of you, something. Dustin. It's a it's a free giveaway. As long as somebody wins something, I'm sure whatever Cab's gonna offer will be dope too. It's gonna be real oh, yeah. shitty. It's gonna be like a used sandwich. <laughs> it's gonna be some uh, some some of his beard clippings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can use this on your figs. <laughs> my my beard Anywhere clipping is in a baggie. <laughs> <laughs> a nasal cannula from the ambulance. Yeah, I used one. Oh, a, 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 a used defibrillator. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't bring the last guy luck, but maybe it'll help you. <laughs> He's like, you can shock the the, the hairs of Judd's of Judd's beard to life, and they <laughs> they turn into little minions. <laughs> You're done, and, <laughs> and, then, and, then, <laughs> and then you can join the, as many giveaways as you want without being noticed. <laughs> You done, Bill. <laughs> Show us the giveaway. <laughs> oh, he said. Uh, did we show it or did I forget? No, no. you didn't. You've been la we've been laughing our eyes out. Leave. You just gotta trust us. We were supposed to leave like 30 minutes ago. And oh, yeah. <laughs> it takes forever to say goodbye. I told you. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> I like my little custom with the the bullets from uh, whatever his name is. Dude, I was just about to ask you, where did you get those? Uh... Comes from that dude from the Sasquatch wave. What's his name with the chain gun? Oh, Deathlock? Yeah. yeah. God, I'm just trying to think of it. Deathlock. Marvel's sword, basically. Oh, that, that, the, the chain, uh, yeah, the chain of bullets out of his gun. Don't that look good on him though? It yeah, does. dude. It fits. It looks it looks real. Where the hell did my I even like the mask that you got on? Who did you have commissioned that, Tater? <laughs> <laughs> I do look like I was silent. I think yeah. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. That's the last thing I want to rip. You just broke the, the heart of a 19 year old. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does that show there? About oh, some, yeah. Yeah, it shows. Skull, got it's like some skull bigger, picture. man. Where's it at? Let's see. Oh, wait. I got a. Talk, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna give that away? Oh, you yeah. can't get me. Nah, gonna, I'm, I'm most definitely in that damn giveaway. That's the uh, <laughs> Empire. Empire Strikes Back. Off Luke. Yeah, isn't that the? Isn't that also the celebration the one? Celebration Luke. Yeah, reissue. Yeah, boy. I have yet to even see like one of those anywhere you never, in Houston. You know that, wave? that was the I, first. I walked into I walked into Target. I walked down the aisle. I'm like, ah, oh, same old black series there always are. And there it was, all by itself, just swinging on the peg. I was like, like, oh. And I was like, hey, you got any more of these in the back? And he got this nervous look on his face. And he was like, oh, uh, no, those are the only, that's the only one we got. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. So I know. I think what he, he took the rest of the wave. What Judson really what meant was that he walked in, he <laughs> saw, he, he he looked down the aisle, next thing you know, the heaven doors opened up. <laughs> and he started seeing the, the, the shiny light, and he was like, ah. started hearing angels, and this little nerdy-looking kid walks up. <laughs> he's like, are we in heaven? And he's like, you were. Now you're in hell because there's only one. <laughs> <laughs> I got the rest of them. <laughs> oh man, you know damn well them 
them punk kids sit there and do that, man. <laughs> they see they see a bearded guy like us walk in there with a handful of cash to buy these figs, and then they're like, "Ah, oh, no, sir, there's no more." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Every time Target. I go, I I I've Target. even gone to the thing to like. Well, every time I go hunting, I always bring my kids anyway. But like, I I thought maybe I could trick them and be like, oh, I got kids, so I'm probably yeah. buying them for them. <laughs> so they're like, oh yeah, 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 sir. We got we got all of them. Hell no, man. It doesn't even, that doesn't even phase them. They're like, oh no, sir. Uh, we don't have any. I'm like, well, I yeah, I, we kinda, I, I got a buddy that works here, man. <laughs> you got you got you got a beard and glasses. I know you. We don't serve yeah. your kind. You're a, you t- <laughs> You're a YouTuber. My wife's a YouTuber. That one with. I remember. I told, did. I don't know if y'all remember when I when I was shooting that video at the mall and um, I was in GameStop and a couple was like, "Hey, what is that guy doing with the camera?" And then <laughs> and then the, the people at the people at GameStop go. He is a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you sack of shit. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, I'm like the most yeah, evilest right. person in the world. <laughs> pay, pay no attention to him, ma'am. He's just... <laughs> He's one of them. I'm like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Like, like you're I'm a crud? <laughs> like you're leprosy or something. You people. He's like, they just film the store and they don't buy nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you should look- Venom, you should look at him like, yeah, because you, because your high ass price. That's what like, uh, Eric Wallace <laughs> calls window shopping video. I'm like, I got your golden ticket right here. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty YouTuber! I'm like, just for that, I'm taking my ass to books a million. <laughs> <laughs> books a million has. You can sign it before. Yeah, right. They're actually kind of nice in there, man. Every time I go in there, they're they're okay with me uh, filming. Though I need to take a stroll into uh, Barnes and Noble. I have yet to go there. I do a hunt video there. Best Buy, man. You go to Best Buy. Yeah, Best Buy. Well, shit, Best Buy. They were, they kept trying to talk to me while I was filming. I'm like, please. Mm-hmm. They do. Oh, it. Hey, dude, please. They have a lot of uh, employees working the floor there. Yeah, dude. I was like, hold on. Uh, my uncle uh, is uh, asking me to, to look for something for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could be looking at the printer paper at Best Buy, and they're like, hey, do you need any help over there, pal? <laughs> you oh. said, what? <laughs> what ink color do you need? <laughs> No, I I lost uh, I lost my keys. I'm looking for them. <laughs> yeah, but if well, you want to find a particular movie, you can't find any of them people. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, but does somebody need a 4K TV? I see you on the flip side. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, sir, I, I need to look for this movie. Wait, yeah, where the hell did they go? Whoa! Oh, it's my break. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not even supposed to be here today. Today's my day off. <laughs> yeah, my Apple Watch needs resetting. I gotta go. Sorry. What the hell? You're wearing a Best Buy shirt. Oh no, I just wear this on my off days too. <laughs> Somebody did one one of those mob things like that to a Best Buy. They, <laughs> it was like 150 people all wore what Best Buy employees wear, and they just went in the store. <laughs> oh, dude. That's awesome. That would be hilarious. Like, I don't work here. I don't work here. I don't work here. So, like, the best by actual employers, like, what the hell are you people doing? You know? <laughs> They're like, what? I'm just here shopping. What am I? I'm not hurting anybody. They're hey. wearing the exact polo that they are. Let's do that when we go to that con. <laughs> oh, dress up as like different store members. Yeah. yeah I don't think it would work. <laughs> We'll just go hang out at the store. <laughs> uh, dude, if I if I was going, I would dress up as a Walmart a Walmart employee, and I have like a smock on, and then it will say, "I am not here to help you." <laughs> There's, a a Target. There's a YouTuber who went to a Target Christmas time, and he wore a Target. He used to work for Target. He still had his uniform. And oh, he was people toys. 
behind the story said, I'll meet you back and obstacle stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's young. Oh, it's like two. Oh, yeah. It's a young guy, right? Yeah, he's well, young. Yeah, yeah, I seen that one. He's like, if you want, I'll meet you up back. I'll sell it to you 50 bucks. <laughs> 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 hey man, when I used to work for Walmart a long time ago, this is ages ago. <laughs> I used to work on the dock, so we used to unload everything. And I remember there was there was a a, a, a cu- quite a few times where stuff would come in off the truck damaged, and they would have us either uh, compact it or you know we would have to send it back. Well, there was a couple of times I remember the guy that was running um, all of us. He was like, hey, man, you know what? I'm about to open these doors, and uh, you might as well call your buddies here or whoever because we're going to put it outside, and whoever comes up first gets it first. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, they're doing a live giveaway? Oh, where do I sign up? <laughs> your car was already sitting there. You're like, well, what do you know? It was already sitting back there. But the, <laughs> the Venom mobile was there. The trunk was already open. I'm like, oh, man, I won the giveaway. <laughs> hey, Adam was like just on his watch talking to his car. He bought like, a car. He's like, car unlocked. Kid, like kid off of a night rider. <laughs> Come on around the back. <laughs> man, I wish I still had my Camaro, man. That would be the most dopest uh, car to do, though. You'll get another one. Yeah. You'll get another one. It's in, uh, uh, in 136 scale, you know, Hot Wheel, but. Oh. Or if they, or if they ever make it in a four door, <laughs> where I can put the kids in the back. <laughs> oh man, where did Kevin go? He left us. I'm still here. No. <laughs> so in in Chicago, my mom gets a lot of phone calls for Best Buy, mm-hmm. and when I'm home. My favorite game is to play the employee when they call. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm looking for, for the Samsung 65-inch LED TV or whatever. I'll be like, yeah, it's on sale for 500 today. Come on in. Ask for Bob. <laughs> I didn't mess with him. Ask for Bob. Totally. I always tell him, ask for Bob. Ask for Bob. <laughs> He's the man. <laughs> Dude, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if that was a judge. When I used to work for Fry's Electronics, I don't know if they have them in y'all's area. I've but, heard of. Them. Yeah, they're they're like a competitor uh, with uh, Best Buy. But when yeah. I used to sell TV, I used to sell TVs. That's where I started off at, and um, there used to always be this random time where I would walk to the the car uh, section where they would install uh, car stereos, and the guy that would sell them. He's like, man, there's this asshole, man. I don't know who he is, but he sends up all these people up here, man. And he says his name is Bill. And I don't know who the hell is it. Do you know a Bill? And I'm like, dude, I just started here. Who the hell? Well, how would I know Bill? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know, man. He sends all these people up here saying that they can get like a, like, like a cheap radio. And I'm like, who the hell is that? <laughs> they don't do that thing. I'm like, no, I found him. He's on, he's on the live stream with us. <laughs> <laughs> he, changed, he changed his code name to Bob. <laughs> Back then he was Bill. Oh, man. That's a, that's hilarious, man. I mean, Bob. Yeah. What's, your, hey, Kent, what's your awkward retail story as a YouTuber? A leopard YouTuber. <clears throat> awkward retail store? Like, yeah, encounter in a retail store. Uh, one of the ones I struggle the most at is probably like hot topics. <laughs> it's freaking compact and congested in there. You can't move around. They're blasting copyright music, and there's just no room to move around. There's all you're always in the way. It's hard to film in there. I yeah, don't like hot the- topic. yeah, yeah. There are too cramped. I don't like going in there. Yeah, and then you got all them gothic kids and shit looking at yeah, you like, yeah. who, the, who the hell let this guy in here, man? That's the kind of people they make those aisles to fit in between because yeah. you got 
Yes. He's got the mascara running down his yeah. face, and he looks at me because I, I, my beard my beard is this long. <laughs> he's like, he's not. He doesn't listen to Metallica, man. I know. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> 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 you know, like, I listened to Metallica before you were. I'll just be good. I'm like, you sack of shit. When I, was listening, when I was listening to Metallica, you were still swimming sli- yeah. around. Your dad. <laughs> Metallica <was still> decent. <laughs> James Hetfield actually had a beard back then. <laughs> well, I'm like, this is what he was this supposed to look like. <laughs> hey, have you seen the picture of uh, what's the youngest uh, Jenner kid? And she's One of the girls? A player shirt. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then they, and then he's got on. Kill the Kardashians. Or kill the Kardashians. Yeah, I've seen that. That's. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, the guy, the head, the lead guy of Slayer. They they showed him a picture of the Jenner girl wearing a Slayer t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, they were asking him about it. He was wearing a Kill the Kardashian shirt. <laughs> oh, man. What is Caitlyn Jenner wearing? <laughs> I support the whales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but I, I would second Kevin on that, too, man. That hot topic is horrible, man. I don't know. You, you you must you have to be like anorexic to to walk through the aisles and shit. Yeah, yeah Every time made, I go in there, it's made for emo people. It is. Yeah. It's, every time I walk in there, I knock something down. Emo people live off of a sixteen pack of tar. Week. That's what they eat. One sixteen pack. <laughs> That's right. An almond dust in the purple one. Yeah, like Ritz, Ritz crackers with, with soy milk. <laughs> Without the salt. Soy latte. <laughs> this is a healthy snack for me. And that blue milk that came out of that tea to whatever that thing was uh, in Last Jedi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they make a black series for that thing? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That guy was so huge, man. With nipple articulation. <laughs> it really squirts. <laughs> you had water and it squirts. Have y'all watched an uh, <laughs> unboxing arts video on the pale man from uh, Guillermo del Toro's movie yet? Nah, that figure looks crazy. I, I watched that. Oh, the- yeah. yeah. And he's like, oh my god, they, they sculpted the nipples. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ar- Ar- Ard will keep you, Ard will keep you laughing in his videos. Yeah, yes. yeah. He's like, oh my god, these nipples! Yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> oh, the man. only other thing he gets more excited about is the chair. Is like really, it looks like it's made out of wood. It even has like aging on it and discoloration. Oh, the the chair is sweet. He's it's like, like really better than the Morpheus chair. chair. This is better than Shao Kahn's throne. This is the best six inch chair ever. <laughs> it's better than Morpheus's chair. Yeah, Morpheus's chair is. <clears throat> that's the one that he's got his uh, lazy Deadpool sitting in in the background. Yeah. We that's didn't have a lot of chairs back in a you know while back. That was the everyone one. loved Morpheus because he came with that chair. Yeah, that chair was popular for the longest. Now there's a new chair. You just gotta buy the. A lot, of, a lot of people use that a uh, Game of Thrones chair too. There's a oh yeah 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 all the swords. Didn't Funko make one? A, they made a pop of it. Yeah. yeah. Funko made a pop of it, and there's there's a, a KO of it. It's really cheap out there. It's not. Yeah. How can a throne be a the pop? KO looks awesome? I know, right? It's just it's weird. <laughs> How can a throne be? It'd be like make the chair from uh, Pee Wee Herman's show with the eyes on it. Like, <laughs> see now they should. Yo, they did make that chair as a pop. No. Yeah. Yeah, they made the chair a pop. What was it called? A couch here or something like that? I gotta let Arthur know because he's got to review that chair. Cherry. They look like cherry. That. Yeah. They have cherry. They have the female. They have uh, Pee Wee. 
postman who was uh, who was the postman on that show? Oh, yeah. they had uh, Damon. Cowboy Joe oh. the cartoons. Some Mr. pedophile. <laughs> Some pedophile. <laughs> oh, that was Pee Wee. He was the only pedophile. Is that that guy from uh, Family Guy? That old man? I got some popsicles in the cellar. Yeah, that S. The I think it was. I think it was Lawrence Finchburn. I think it was Morpheus. <laughs> Lawrence Lawrence Fishburne was the cowboy on Pee Wee Herman's. Oh, the cowboy, not the post. Oh, that's cowboy right. Day. That was a uh, Larry Fishburne. Cowboy Curtis or Cowboy Larry. Fishburne. That was before he became Lawrence. It was that's Larry. Right. <laughs> it is I remember. Days. Yeah, because I was watching. Uh, <clears throat> the hell was that movie? Uh, Boiling Point? No. Oh gosh, what's that movie where he comes out with Jeff Goldblum? He's like a like a undercover oh, yeah. cop turned drug dealer. And in the credits, I was uh, I was waiting to see Lawrence Fishburne, and I never seen it. And I was, I was like, who the, hell? who the hell is Larry Fishburne? <laughs> 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 is that his alter ego or something? <laughs> and my cousin's like, no, nah, man, that's before he became Lawrence. He was Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry. <laughs> Good old Larry. Dang it. Larry the cable guy? <laughs> yeah. Larry the boys in the hood. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, yo, daddy's nearer than the boogeyman himself. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, would, I would love to see those as pops or even figs, man. <laughs> I've been in so many uh, Funko streams, and people uh, mention that, like Man. getting movie moments from like, I guess like gangster movies and stuff. And I was like, wouldn't that be funny, man, to see like that movie Menace to Society, and have that scene where they're they're in the the, the convenience store, and he's like, I'm sorry for your mother. I feel funny for yeah. your mother. And he's over there chugging that 40 and his old <laughs> His brother's like, what the what the F did you say to my my, my mama? <laughs> and he's just sitting there chugging. I'm like, damn, that guy hasn't even breathed yet. <laughs> Shit. I looks like, like the, me. Looks like me back in the days. <laughs> that don't drink your juice version. Pickle, five dollars. Oh. Shirt, five dollars. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't remember the title of that. Don't be don't a man drink. for drinking your juice in the hood. Yeah. 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 If you're gonna do that movie moment, then you gotta do Scarface when he's at that a giant pile of cocaine. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, man. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> when well, he's over there freaking out on, on the on the intercom, he's talking to that guy. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it next month. <laughs> do it next month. <laughs> He's over there, like, who, 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 who you talking to? Huh? 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 <laughs> I was like, this guy is beyond the outer limits in cocaine. <laughs> Yep, there's a limit where you can like harness the powers of Captain Captain Marvel. <laughs> you hit enough. You have the you have the the all of the infinity stones inside your nose. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I like the way it smells. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. I'm out of you guys. My phone is dying. All right, guys, I got to go, too. I'm about to. Bye, y'all. Then I'm out. Yeah, I'll take it easy. It was a lot of fun. Yep, good times. <laughs> we'll do this next Wednesday. Same bad time, same bad channel. Yep. <laughs> hey, where did uh, Sandman PR Vlogs go? I don't know. He disappeared, too.
Yeah, he did. I guess we'll call it then. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gone. <laughs> Take it easy, man. See you. Catch you later. <laughs>